Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. So I just wanted to make a really quick video on my newest influencer, Voxbox. It is the L'Oreal Paris New Elvive. Um, I guess they have a whole Elvive line, which is pretty cool. I got the Total Pair Damage Erasing Balm. And I had seen someone else had gotten like an oil, and then I think there was um, another another product out there from Influencer. And I actually, I really wasn't expecting to be receiving this because I didn't even know that they were giving out this Vox box. I had no idea. I just happened to look at my account and see that I had um, a place where I could start doing the badge and stuff for this. And I was like, yes, yes. Um, so first of all, what I thought was really cool right off the bat, this is a full size container, you guys, full size. And Influencer did send this to me for free, um, in exchange for my honest review. So we're going to get into my honest review, but a few things about Influencer. So basically what happens is Influencer picks certain people based on their like quiz results. So it just happened that I was chosen and matched the quiz results for this particular product. And they do send it to me for free. Um, I'm not supposed to like resell any of my products or anything, which I don't, I always use them. Um, or if I really don't like them, then I, then I don't use them. I pass them along or I throw them out. Um, and I don't get anything like money wise to do influencer. Um, I just get the ability to like keep and use my products. And then as long as I follow through and like do the badges and whatever, then I usually get qualified for more boxes. Um, if you haven't heard of the influencer program, go ahead and check them out on social media or go ahead, leave a comment down below. Um, message me on social media. My Instagram is at foreverman25 and I'd be more than happy to give you more information if you want to know how to sign up. I do have a like a referral link. I don't make any money off of it. Um, I think what it does is it just boosts my like total impact score and basically that's uh, their way of saying how many people I reach through social media channels. So um and I, I would think that that would get me a better chance of getting more boxes because of course like the bigger social media following you have, the more likely they are to send you products because they obviously want their products to be reaching the widest audience possible. Anyway, let's get into the review. All right, so this stuff. I'm just gonna start off by saying this is Amanda approved. I totally give it a thumbs up. I, in fact, I give it a two thumbs up. Two thumbs. Um, and I would totally buy this with my own money. As a matter of fact, like this, this will now be my daily conditioner because my hair is shit. It's shit. Um, my hair is like a level five. And basically what that means is it's all sorts of nasty like it's damaged it, apparently it's like the most damaged you can get and I've heard it from the salon that I go to and I also took the quiz from influencer and they're like you're a level five and I'm like <laughs> great so basically it just means my hair shit like I have a lot of split ends I have a lot of dryness um, I have a lot of breakage and then when my hair is wet it's like it stretches out like a noodle it's stringy stretchy whatever you want to call it and um, it's really super frizzy and basically it's a goner and it really needs some deep conditioning yeah so that being said my hair right now does not look like I'm a level five okay so this I have obviously straightened my hair because I do get kind of curly hair and it's kind of frizzy. Um, what this did is exactly what it said it was going to do. And what it says it's going to do is it says that 
our system deeply conditions and recharges fiber to help fight the five signs of damage in one use. Split ends, weak, rough, dull, and dehydrated. So I fit all of those categories. And it says, after using Total Repair Fi Shampoo, which I don't have, um, but I actually might switch to because I really love this. And I think you'd probably get, you know, better results using like the same products. Um, it says, apply balm to wet hair and massage through two ends. Leave in for one to three minutes, rinse. For continuous visible repair, use every day. I've been using this every day for about a week now. Um, I've been using it every day since I got my Vox box and I think I got it like last Thursday or something. So I've been using it every day like a conditioner and um, it's fantastic. I did notice a change after one use. Now normally my hair would have been frizzy like all the way up to my growth line and you can see, here's my growth. Normally my hair would have been frizzy like all the way up to here, but after that first use, it all the frizz until the very ends was smoothed out. Not as smooth as it is right now because I did use a straightener, but um, I noticed it was after one use and I was like, oh, okay, well I'm gonna keep using it though because I don't really like to do a review on something and give my full thoughts just with one use, especially um, like a hair care item and especially for as damaged as my hair is for a perf perfume or something like I can see if I just do a first impression or after a one-time use you figure out whether you like it or not you know um, but what I really like is that I straighten my hair now normally when I straighten my hair I use a heat protectant oil and like I absolutely have to use that because it tones down the frizz and it protects your hair. Well, for the purpose of this video and to show you the results, I did not do that today. I just used this and then I went ahead and straightened my hair. But you can see that my hair is very smooth, very shiny. The ends look very tamed. Nothing is like overly frizzy. And it looks nice. It looks really nice. Just kind of move back a little bit. Look at that. I mean, really, after using this for a week, I was not expecting these types of results. I really was not. I was like, yeah, um, okay. I mean, I know my hair is like practically fried. I'm not, I wasn't expecting a miracle, but I got some results. I will say that. And the scent is really nice. It's sweet, but not like overpowering. And normally I get really bad migraines from scents. And this doesn't give me a migraine. And it does stay in your hair for the rest of the day. Um, it just gives like a nice light conditioner scent, like a sweet scent. And it's really pretty. So I would totally buy this again. I'm going to keep using it. When I'm out, I'm going back to repurchase. As a matter of fact, I'm supposed to run to Target tonight. I'm going to pick up the shampoo for this. And it looks like it's in between like $5.99 and $7.49 for prices because you can get it at like Walmart, Walgreens, and Target. It looked like they had it on the Ulta website, but right now it says that they no longer carry it. So I don't know if they're out of stock or if you're not able to order it right now. I don't know. Um, but that that's like the general consensus on price and I think it's totally worth it. There's a lot of product in here. There's 8.5 fluid ounces in here for $5.99 at Target. Like can we, can we let that sink in here? I mean, that's a lot of product and you don't need a lot. You probably need like, eh, this much, maybe quarter size amount to do your hair and uh, it's just, it's great. I can't say enough good things about it. So thank you to L'Oreal and Influencer for sending me a full size product that I'm going to continue to use, that I'm going to recommend to everybody because I think it's fantastic and that I absolutely love. So thank you so much. And you know what? Hey, sound off in the comments down below. Like, were you in on this Fox box? I want to know, like, I want to know how many people are getting box boxes. Did you get a different product? What are the other products in the line? Like, I, I thought I saw 
and oil and I don't know something else going out through Vox Box but they had like a line at Target and it looked really good but when I was there it was really strange like the Target um, that I normally don't go to didn't have any of the prices on the shelf so I was like how am I supposed to shop for this <laughs> if I don't know what price it is but I mean whatever um, and if you like I said before if you want any more details on influencer and you want to join let me know I can help you with that and um, otherwise just uh, peep my nice hair and hopefully like as this grows out and as I get trimmed like hopefully this is going to keep giving me results because oh, my hair has not looked this nice in so long, in so long, probably like a year because I'm going to go off on a tangent here and I'm just going to tell you like I went to go get my hair dyed like a dark chocolate brown like it is on the bottom now, but the dude dyed my hair jet black, which is fine because I used to like that and my it used to suit my skin tone. But number one, that's not what I wanted. Number two, he left it in so long I got sores on my scalp. And number three, my hair was like shriveling, crinkling up after that dye job. And I was like, oh my God. So instead of wanting to go dye it again, once it grew out a little bit, I stripped it all out. And like since, I want to say like April of this year, I have been um slowly like taking care of my hair and not dyeing the top or um going weaving some natural colored hair dye in and like natural lightening like you can see where I didn't do it underneath and I also have some natural highlights too so I've just been kind of letting it grow out and I even kind of let the bottom grow out too you can see my growth here too, but I'm gonna re-dye some of this when I get the chance to because it's now the color that I wanted it to be. But basically, like I've been working to get my hair back to blonde, that way I don't have to keep dyeing it. And unfortunately, that's also damaging too. Like it was kind of a horse apiece. Like you either damage it by keeping all that black in, and um, or you keep damaging it by lightening it. So, I mean, it's kind of a rock and a hard place, but I don't want to keep dying it. So, it is what it is. Whatever. Anyway, I'm signing off before this video gets, like, way too long. Just give me a like if you like it, if you love my makeup. Did some Christmas vibes. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.